Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. I just want to clear up this. This like weird hair sitch that we've got going on right now. I had curly hair yesterday and then I stuck it in a bun last night and then I went for a run this morning. Took it down and this sort of thing just kind of happened. And right now my hair is just this big poof ball. I'm sure it's gonna calm down as the video goes on. I mean it's it's still pretty early. It's got some some time to calm down and return to like normal hair. But it's probably gonna be a little bit crazy this episode, so just gonna have to deal with that. In the last episode, James got involved in a little love triangle. Of course, there was James, there was Layla, and there was Salma. And I kind of am thinking James and Salma have the best chemistry. Like, they went to flirty very quickly, they had a very nice date. But Salma went away before the girlfriend opportunity came. She did, however, come sneak around to his house for some little late night romancing. We tried to get James and Layla, like, hooking up a little bit as well. They weren't quite as keen, but they did start to become the lovebirds towards the end. So today we will see which one he decides to pick. Maybe he can go on a date with both of them. He's done double dates before. And see which one he just has the best chemistry with. Uh, little Jess is trying to make as many friends as she can. She is a little, wants to be a little social butterfly. Unfortunately, she doesn't seem to be meeting any friends her own age at school, which kind of sucks because it's the weekend now and she's got nobody to play with. But I was thinking as part of the Parenthood DLC, you can do volunteering. So I may try to get all the families to go and do some little volunteering this weekend and see how that goes. And then of course we have the twins, which are proving very, very hard to manage. Like. They're pretty naughty little twins, and they take up a lot of time and effort, and I may have to get a nanny, guys. I may have to get a nanny. I think it's something I'm gonna have to do. So, hope you guys are still enjoying this episode. And guys, let's play some more Sims 4. So obsessed with the music, guys. I can't help it. Look, I got my happy t-shirt on today. I'm in a happy mood. It's tie-dye and crazy. You can't help but feel happy just by looking at it. So even though it's, it's not even that early in the morning, guys, you would be ashamed if you knew what time we got up at. We've got better. We were up at 9 a.m. today to go for a run. But then I had this beautiful berry breakfast with like chia and flax and yogurt. And I'm feeling pretty happy. Why does it not give us that beautiful little intro music? It's fine. It's fine. So we are in the house. How did we leave things? I'm kind of thinking we may have left things with the little James, Layla, and Salma sitch. Look, he's definitely a lot closer to Sal Salma. I just kind of think they've got really good chemistry. And she's neat and cheerful. Like, these are nice traits, guys. These are really nice traits. If we went to the Throffy Foma between 5 a.m. and 7 a.m., we would actually see Layla working. 5 a.m. though, guys. That is some dedication. She's also a bookworm. So she's just kind of... Oh, why is his responsibility going down? Is he getting lectured by mum? She's like, she's very driven. She's got a part-time job that she has to get up at like, what, 4 a.m. to go to? And she is a bookworm. Like, she's doing a really good job. She's doing a really good job. So they're both lovely girls. This is the thing. They're both really nice girls. But I just don't know which one of them he's going to go for, guys. It's Friday at 10 p.m. Oh, poor little Jess needs a little wee-wee. Okay, you go do your little wee-wees, Jess. And I don't know. He's not super tired. He could always maybe, like, just see what someone is up to. You know what he actually needs? He needs some bro friends to talk this out with. Like, where are his bro friends? Oh, wow. He's off to go work out. He's got Ali, who's not actually our Ali. He's a friend from school, Ali. So he's a little bit different. But he's definitely more friends with the girls. He's got Omar as well. He's got Lexi who is a dead person he's apparently pretty good friends with too, so there you go. And of course, there's the weird butler. But we will not be inviting him around to talk things out. That's just not gonna happen. Maybe he could invite around Roger tomorrow for little Jess to make friends with, because look, she doesn't have any friends her own age. Like, she's close with a lot of people, but she's not like a, oh my gosh, look at this curfew, it's on red, look. No one's allowed out. Uh, she's not got any friends that are actually her own age, so. Little James, look at this. He's doing a little late night workout. Oh, he's not quite as strong as Ali yet, I'm afraid. Oh, he's struggling, he's struggling, but he has the active trait. I know that in like Sims 3, or was it Sims 2? It may have been Sims 2 or Sims 3. You could go to like a bowl game on a weekend. I kind of want him to be able to like join a sports team at school, but I don't know how you do it. I don't know how I can make him join a sports team. <gasps> Jess, you're up and about, what are you doing? Why are you getting a shower at night time, honey? 
Oh, she's playing in the bar. <laughs> Jess, this weekend, we are gonna get you a best friend, okay? It's gonna happen. Maybe we'll just send her to the park and see which friends are there for her. I wanna make sure she's got a good life as well because, you know, what we've been neglected as a child and whatnot. Okay, guys, I've got a really efficient way to feed the children. Claire has all these apples and stuff in her inventory. So basically, just what I'm doing is putting them all on the floor for everyone to eat. They're not very happy about it, but it's the easiest way to... I think they're gonna have to eat a lot. Like, she's probably gonna get a bit of a funny tummy after this, let's not lie. But they need to sleep. It's 1am in the morning and the twins are up already. It's so hard having children. James is like, um, don't tease at her. Be, be nice to her. He's chatting with his little sister. Being super nice with her, having a beautiful little, um, I mean, he's playing dolls with her now, but okay. They have some sort of beautiful friendship together, which is nice. <gasps> She's learning emotional control from him. I don't know why she just whipped out a duck, but you know, why not? Why not? Okay, so everybody's up. And I think today is the day that we try the volunteering. Um, I think that we just do it. I think we just have to, what, she can respond to some mails. She's got some meals. Okay, do a little bit of responding to mail first. Actually, Claire's really hungry. She should definitely grab some food before she goes. Uh, oh, that's spoiled. Okay. Maybe don't eat that. But you can have a hot dog. There you go. Grab a hot dog. And then if we want to go volunteering, how do we like just organize that as a family? Volunteer. Here we go. How, how did I not see that? Everyone is coming, okay? <gasps> okay, volunteer at a bake sale, volunteer at a beach cleanup, volunteer at a nursing home, a soup kitchen, or walk to fight disease. <gasps> oh my gosh, what should we do? We don't have any cookies, so we couldn't do that one. Uh, why don't we try the soup kitchen? Let's volunteer at a soup kitchen, guys. I guess they're gonna have to call a nanny for all the little ones. And then we're gonna do the soup kitchen. Claire needs to finish off her... Uh, her cereals first though. <gasps> Is James all gross and smelly? Oh James, sort yourself out. You're gonna look all gross at the soup kitchen if not. <gasps> no, he's going all gross. He's gonna be in a bad, bad mood. And he really needs a wee. Awkward. Should a nanny be hired for $60 plus? Yep, or you can send them to the daycare for free. Uh, hire a nanny. Let's hire a nanny to come to the place. We've got 20,000, I mean, did they actually pay those bills? They did! They did! We're just doing pretty good for money. Okay, here's the nanny. I think it's the same one as before. Yes, it is! She's even got a cool cat jumper. So you know she's gonna be a good nanny. And then where's Claire? <gasps> what? I don't get to go to the soup kitchen with them! What? No, I wanna go to the soup kitchen! What the hell? I thought I would actually get to go with them, but instead, I've got to stay here with the babies. Is that because I asked to do a nanny rather than send them to daycare? Guys, I feel like I've definitely messed up here. <laughs> I've messed up! No! The babies are sad as well because they're all home alone and whatnot. Okay, the soup kitchen looks pretty busy. Jessica thinks a chef would appreciate some extra help. Should she offer? It's not going to be easy, Jess, but yes, you go for it, kiddo. Jessica had fun chopping the veggies and talking with the chef. She also picked up a few cooking tips. <gasps> and it gave her a mental boost as well. That's pretty cool. She gained responsibility in mental. I mean, I really thought I would get to go to the soup kitchen with them. This is really weird. I might try it again tomorrow, but put the babies in daycare and see if it actually lets me go with them or if I just stay at the house being like, huh, what am I gonna do now? The babies have just been left to like crawl around the house all on their own, which is a little bit worrying. I mean, little Emily's just stood in Jessica's room crying her eyes out about the fact she's not there. She's like, is she gonna hug it or hit it? Be nice. She's just talking to it, I think. Yeah, she's just giving it a little chit chat, so that's fine. Oh my gosh. App oh my gosh, there's apples everywhere. How did that happen? <gasps> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I have no idea why there's apples everywhere. I put a few down this morning, but they've just become crazy. The house is covered in apples, guys. <gasps> uh oh, Emma is angry because she is tired. Emily's just like patrolling the whole house. She's off to go play in the toilet. Emily, no, 
No toilet place. Why don't you eat the apples that have taken over the house? You can be like um, Snow White. She kind of looks like a Disney princess, to be honest. So that's absolutely fine by me. Where is she? She's such a pretty little kid. Look at her. I mean, she looks a little bit sad right now, but she is a pretty kid, okay? How long are they going to be volunteering for? I mean, oh, they're almost done. They're home. Oh, Jessica became good friends with James. So they've all just arrived home, but like... I thought we would get to see a little bit more of the soup kitchen. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. James has come home, be home being all stinking horrible. <laughs> okay, I mean, it's only 1 p.m. James, you've got the whole day ahead of you. Why don't, why don't, first of all, you go ahead and call somebody for a little Jess to play with. Invite this Roger around to your house. I know it's a little bit weird for a teenager just to ring up and be like, yo, little kid, come around and play with my, with my sister. But I don't care, it's a good way for her to get some socialization, guys. Oh no! No! He's an adult, oh my gosh! Oh no, no, wait a minute. I think that's the dad. Yeah, that's his dad. Okay, oh wait. No, they've got completely different last names. It's just sheer luck that they both turned up at the same time, how random. Okay, go introduce yourself to your new friend. Oh look, she was gonna go do it anyway. Little cutie pie, she wants to make a new friend. So she's got someone to play with today, making sure that she's boosting that little uh, little social butterfly that she is. <laughs> she needs to get a little bit more social skills as well by talking to other sims or toys. Well, she can do lots of chats today. I'm liking Roger's little dog jumper. It kind of looks a little bit like Evie. Oh, they're getting on well. This is really nice. So she's gonna have a little friend to play with today. Let's make sure they've got loads of stuff ready to do. <gasps> oh, we did it! Milestone complete! Yes! She wants to achieve level 10 on the social school now. Become friends with three of the children and become friends with two adults. Okay. Well, let's make sure that she's nice and happy. Give her loads of cool stuff to do. And then James. Oh, he's practicing his violin. Okay, he's getting a little bit better. His is all about working out. Literally all about working out. But I think he needs to call up his two little lady friends. Um, call Salma and call Layla. And why don't we invite them somewhere, okay? So these three little crazy cats, why don't they just go... Just go to a bar and hang out together and kind of see how it goes. Oh, I got to remember, no, there's something up in the corner there that I should have read, but I didn't get a chance, guys. Creekside Smooth. Remember you've hired a nanny. If you wish, they will stay at home while your sims are away and charge you for the time when you get back and dismiss them. Okay, that's fine. I think, I think we probably need a nanny, to be honest, so. Oh, wait, wait, no, don't run, don't run away. She's like, this conversation is way too weird. Why don't you just start off with a little bit of banter, um, say that you admire her, have a little hug, and then make sure you're chatting with both of them. Take a picture with her, compliment her outfit, hi, and give her a little hug, okay? So we've got a little bit of socialization going on with both of them. And then I think we will, um, oh, they can't order drinks, of course, because they're teenagers. So they can't just go into a bar and order drinks. In fact, if The Sims is based off America, they won't be able to order drinks for a long time because it's 21 in America. It's only 18 in the UK, but it's 21 in America. There we go. So he's a little bit of socialization with both of them. And then we will just kind of see which one of them he seems to be clicking with the most. He's pretty hungry. Like, can we at least get some, uh... Oh! Oh no, he can order drinks. He can order drinks. He's pretty hungry, so just grab some chips. Order drinks for the group. Let's get everybody, you know, it's only in the daytime. They don't need to go crazy. They do not need to go crazy. Some juice on the rocks, okay? It's just juice. So James is getting chips. Where, where is, where have the ladies gone? I swear I just watched Selma come outside and get into a car and drive away. This has not gone as planned, guys. Maybe they knew what was happening and they were just a little bit hurt by the whole thing. They're hiding upstairs. What? This is not the way he expected it to go, guys. The girls are having none of this. They're like, we will decide, not you. So he's hanging out with like a load of other random people instead. But they're all adults. They're all adults. So like, what are you doing in a bar, strange little teenager boy? Go home. Oh, what? 
Okay guys, so that's not gonna work. That's not gonna be the plan to decide which one is the best one for James because it just doesn't work. The girls are having none of it. Also, James seemed to find the whole thing just quite, quite tiring. Okay, my notification wall is full. <gasps> How are you doing? It's delightful to see you again. I mean, the whole rest of the family was at home with you, Nanny, so you, it's not like you can just pretend you've been doing everything. In fact, we've got a baby down here crying. Poor little one. Give her some attention, James. <gasps> and then Claire's upstairs playing with Emily. So what exactly is Nanny doing? She's just in Jess's room, stood there doing nothing. <gasps> Did Je is Jess still hanging out with her friend? Oh no, I think, oh no, he's still there, he's still there. <gasps> Go hang out with your friend. Why don't you invite him to play on here with you or something? Roger's probably like, what is going on with all the apples in your house? You absolute weird family. Oh, these guys are playing outside together. I think she's got herself a little buddy friend here. This is good. She really wanted to have a friend her age. So let's make sure that they're friends by the time he leaves to get today. Okay, so the nanny is still here. I'm not really sure why, but everyone's asleep now. So surely she has to go home. What? Why is she still here? She's been all flirty and whatnot. Like, why are you here? You're going to charge a fortune when you leave. You're going to bankrupt us. That's the money for the pool house. Actually, on the subject of the pool house, guys, we've got 20,000 pounds now. So technically we could build one at the side here. I don't know, I, I was kind of thinking it would be quite cool. I know to do it as an indoor pool or an outdoor pool, that's the thing. And I was also kind of thinking maybe it would be better at the back of the house rather than the side. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this for starters. I could kind of move the barbecue like to here and have like a pool like around here. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do, okay. So the barbecue is over there now. Do they give you like, ooh, octagonal pool, a custom pool tool. It's really like pre-made, what, what's this? A pool trim. Oh my gosh. What kind of crazy water is that? Oh wow. You can put decals and stuff in there too. Okay, okay, let's, what's a good sort of, cause you can do these sort of corner ones. I may move like all this over one. I wish there was a way to just move like a group of stuff together. Okay, so it was slow, but I've moved all that stuff over one. So hopefully now we can have like, maybe a pool that's sort of like that shaped would be quite cool. Like that comes round a little bit like this. Uh, okay. I wonder if we could do, I, I wish you could do like a curved pool. I think that would be really cool. But for now, let's just, I, I kind of, <laughs> I'm tempted by a hexagonal pool, guys. Um. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is, this is gonna be such a crazy pool. I don't even know. I don't even know what it's supposed to be right now. Okay, it's pretty it's it's pretty crazy right now. Can I like flatten out like this? There we go, okay. And can I get rid of that? No, no, get rid of it. Get rid of it. How do I I don't wanna delete the whole pool? No, no, oh my gosh, we do not want to be bulldozing a lot. Okay, okay, got rid of that, got rid of that. So that's kind of how it's looking at the moment. Can I like cut those little edges off a little bit? And then move it to here. Okay, probably not the best way of doing it, but it worked. So there we go, we've got a pool. Um, I'm not sure whether these bits need to be like in one or not. And if it looks a little bit too small, if it's like that. Oh gosh, now I'm pulling away a tree. For God's sake, Claire. I think it looks better like this. So there we go. And then we need to tile all the way around the outside of the pool. What the hell? What is this crazy tile doing? Stop it. Why can't I tile here? Tile for God's sake. Okay, I'm so confused. Why are my tiles behaving erratically? Oh my, oh my gosh. What even is that? A purple pool? We're gonna, okay, let's, let's try it as a normal pool first and then we'll try the purple pool. So. Where's the diving board? Can I put like a two layer, uh, two level steps? Like, oh no, that doesn't really work. Okay, burn that, burn that. Okay, it's quite a lot of lights, but you wanna know where you're swimming, don't you? Oh, should we light up the tortoises as well? I can actually put a light like on them. Is this a floor light? Okay, let's put maybe um, one here, one here. One here, and one in front of the tortoise, like he's swimming towards it. There we go, there we go. So the pool's got lots of lights in it. 
But it's not got a diving board. Like, why is there no diving board? That's so annoying. That's ordinary water. That That is kind of creepy. I'm going to see how it looks in the daytime. And just see if it looks any cooler. And then what's this? A pool trim. Oh, we can have it any color we want. So you could have it all black to like match the pool, match the pool, or red, sorry. Or you could have it this kind of quite classy grey sort of colour. I'm gonna go for a classy grey sort of colour. And then guys, I really don't understand why the um why the side is doing this. It's like it's being really weird. Like if I put one here, it will take one from there. I really don't know why it's doing this. Like it behaves normally all around here. That's that's all even no even that's not fine if anyone else has had this like weird tile glitch Let me know what you did to fix it because right now I can't tile the outside of my house and it looks so ridiculous Like I just want normal tiles. Why does every time I put a tile down it has to like take one? It's like there's a limited resource of tiles and if I use too many then it has to take one from somewhere else Look if I want to put one there. I have to take one from there or there why sims game why that's just ridiculous no <laughs> oh my gosh guys th this is actually quite vexing because it looks stupid now it looks really stupid we also need some um outside lights there we go so it's very nice and lit up outside there i'm kind of feeling like you know this bit actually i wanted to keep it as like a little uh barbecue area but i think it looks better being tiled <gasps> oh my gosh look what why is that a thing game? What are you doing? You're being crazy. So annoying. I don't know if you guys have had this glitch. If you have, please, please help me. I have no idea why it's doing it, but it's very, <laughs> it's very, very annoying, but it's fine. Right now, I just want them to go and try out the pool tomorrow morning. Their weird purple pool. So let's make sure everyone's sleeping so that they can go pooling tomorrow. Yeah, everyone's in bed asleep. Apart from the creepy. <laughs> Why is everyone that we hire creepy? Why can't they just be normal humans? Creepy nanny is just there staring at Jessica like, this is totally normal. No, it's not. It's weird. Stop it. Fat Claire, go, go look after your children. Say it's enough. Um, dismiss. Dismiss her. I'm, I'm, I'm desperate to know how much she's going to charge us after all that. Oh. 153 pounds. Guys, that's pretty cheap. We have floating flowers in the garden. No, that's very silly. There you go. Back on the, back on the little, wait, are you still floating? No, what are you doing? What are you, get back down. Nope, that's higher. Down you go. I might change it back to blue because I personally think that that looks pretty trashy, but we'll leave it just for now because I want to see how it looks in the daytime. Okay guys, today is the day. So what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna hire a caterer. Oh look, you can hire a vegetarian caterer. And they're more expensive. Which I'm kind of thinking means they're better. So we're gonna hire a vegetarian caterer. We are going to hire um, a nanny. And then we're gonna throw an amazing pool party, guys, okay? Let's hire a nanny. Um, no raging, no raging around. Eat your apples, Emily, eat all your apples. And then we need to, where is it? Plan a social event. Can you hold a pool, host a pool party? No, you can do a house party though, that's fine. What does prestigious event mean? Gives you goals and exciting rewards. No, we don't care about goals. We just want a lovely house party, okay? Uh, the, the host is gonna be me. Oh wait, if James is a host too, we might be able to invite his friends. So we've got Salma there. Let's just invite everyone. Let's just have the best party ever, okay? <gasps> an entertainer, yes. Let's hire an entertainer. A mixologist, yes. Why, why on earth not? A caterer, I think we've already got. We've got a caterer, so that's absolutely fine. Select a place, our residence. I wanna select like the... Um, that you've got to wear swimwear. I think that would be a really cool way to do it. So let's get all the babies bathed and stuff. Right now, only Salma's coming. You need to fix that, okay? So, James, you need to get on the phone and start inviting some friends around. Invite all your little school friends, okay? Salma, Dia, all these dudes. I should invite everyone. It's gonna be a big party. And then Jess, why don't you invite around your new friend as well? Roger, there you go. 
James, stop sleeping. Stop sleeping. We've got a big party going on. Okay. So here is the pool in the daytime. It's kind of interesting. Everybody needs to get dressed. Oh, look, she's in her party gear. You actually need to uh, change your outfit to your swimwear. I don't think they've ever, ever worn swimwear before, you know, guys. I'm gonna get everyone in their swimwear. People are arriving and Ali is looking at- No, we've got a nanny for that. You don't need to do that. The nanny's gonna look after the kids for you today. All Ali's like little bro friends are here. No, stop. Stop dealing with the kids, okay? Thank people for coming and just basically like chat with all your, your dude bro friends, okay? Claire. Look at Claire, she's even got sunglasses on. Oh, she's desperate for a wee though. <gasps> and the kids are kind of messy. Nanny, please, can you get on it with the kids, okay? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This woman has gone all out with her outfit. Fair play, well done. Our entertainer is here as well. Oh, that's why she's all dressed up. She is our entertainer. So she's playing the piano for everybody, which is pretty cool. Look, Jay, uh, James, Ali is in there hanging out with his dudes, doing some little chit chats. It's kind of weird that we're the only ones that are actually all dressed up, but still. The house is pretty full, but you know who I'm not seeing anywhere? Little Jamesykins girls. I don't know where they are, did they just, neither of them have turned up. I mean, everybody else is here now, and they're not there. I think he's upset them both a little bit. But I want people to try out the new crazy purple pool. Oh, I don't- I- I actually- oh, oh, look! Everyone's going in! Guys, I'm not liking the purple. I'm not liking the purple at all. I think it's really weird. I'm gonna change it back. I don't wanna do it while they're in there and accidentally, like, kill everyone. But look at that! Everyone's having a little swim and play together. Good fun in the pool. James is all flirty and there's no one to flirt with. Because <laughs> no one's come around. <gasps> oh my gosh, apparently Philip, who is here, is evil. So we need to watch out for him. James, where are your girls? Give them a give them a little ring again. And invite Dia as well. Invite all three, okay? Oh, look at this. Look at this pretty chill little pool party. People are over there having some food. People are chilling by the water. It's all pretty good, guys. Everyone's having fun. <laughs> Check out Schmitty with his little, uh, his little tiger pants on. And little Jess is having a swim, but I can't see Jess's friend either. Maybe there was just too many people at the lot, so it's not put everybody on, which is kind of annoying. Oh gosh, guys, they're definitely not coming. They're not coming. I'm sorry, James, but today is not the day where it all kicks off and you make some beautiful friends because, uh, some beautiful girlfriends, because they're just not coming over, I'm afraid. Oh my God, look how ripped Don is. Don Lothario, he's pretty ripped. Claire's having fun though. Dag, dag. I mean, I hate the water. Can I change the water while they're in it? Because it's really bothering me. It's like the ugliest thing I've ever seen. There we go. Oh my gosh, how much better is that? Guys, never dye the water. It's just not worth it. It looks really, really weird. Ah, oh, look at everyone jumping in, having a little swim. Can you actually get a diving board? Like, I feel like I need to know this because everyone just glitched up the water then. I really want to have a diving board. Oh gosh, all the guys are on the side now. All showing off their physiques. I mean, Ali's looking pretty good. I'm happy about that. He's definitely showing everybody up. Oh, look at little Jess in a cute little outfit. Also, what the hell is the nanny doing? Because look at Emily. Covered in dirt, downstairs, acting a, a little bit crazy. Not very good parent in there. By the nanny though, because she's the one that's meant to be looking after them. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? Is that a fire? What the hell? Oh my gosh, what has the caterer done to our home? What is happening here? It's just fire. Okay, I'm going to straight up replace that because that is worrying. That is seriously worrying. It's just firing out and there's apples everywhere. Guys, what is happening to the house? But especially the caterer has got loads of stuff on the go and then has just left it. The dishwasher is broken. Everything's just a little bit of a mess. People are leaving because they're like, clearly you're trying to kill us and we don't really want to die. So we're gonna leave. Um, Ali's just brought um, Emma down and just plopped her on the Pokemon. Just been like, these look fun, play with those. But hey, I think they had a pretty good house party. Look, he's learning some manners. Everyone hung up by the pool. And I'm impressed that everybody's looking pretty good in their like little bikini bods there. Look at Claire's little sunglasses. I didn't even know she had sunglasses. Like literally had no idea that was even a thing. But I think she's looking pretty cool in them. Like little cheeky Ray-Bans. It's a bit too much butt hanging out of her um, swimsuit for my liking, but still. Oh my gosh, look who's just knocked on the door. She's arrived really late. 
But she's finally here. Oh my gosh, James, go say hello. I just got an achievement for playing the game for 24 hours. <laughs> I've played this game for 24 hours now, which is pretty impressive. Okay, so Salma did finally come round. Look at Claire and Ali in the background blowing each other kisses and stuff. They just Perfect came quite me. late. He's I don't know why she came so late, well. but at least she the did. Door. So now it's a good time to just chat oh. with her. Oh, he can kiss her neck. Oh, I forgot. These guys have already done like all the kissing and and stuff oh, already. <gasps> James Manners is in the range to earn the good Manners trait. Well, that's pretty good. Things are going well for little James now. It was all going so badly for him not long ago. But I don't know. Now things seem to be going really well. I don't know why Claire is getting so involved in this conversation. But apparently she is. I've sent Claire to go and swim laps to stop her like being weird and like encroaching in on the conversation with her with her son and his potential girlfriend. Cause Claire, that's just kind of weird. It's just a little bit weird, okay? Okay, he wants to make out with Salva, okay? Guys, it's his wish. It's his wish if he wants to do that. I'm not gonna stop him. Romance. Well, oh look, has to be girlfriend. There it is. If that's what he wants to do, that's what he wants to do. <gasps> Why are you not doing that? Why are you not making out? Where's she gone? Where's she going? Oh, Dia's just in there playing with a really dirty Emily, which is really nice. Salma's going. James is kind of stuck on this chair. I actually don't know what he's doing. Get off the chair, James, for God's sake. This is what you have to do, like, and they just zoom out of it. Go on. There you go. I don't know why, like, I they were meant to make out, and then he got stuck in the chair. James is just not having a very good romance. Like, it's just not going that well for him. And I cannot actually believe what the caterer has done to our kitchen, so... There's a lot of cleaning up these guys need to do, but at least they got their cool pool. At least they had a cool pool party. Claire, in particular, seems to be really enjoying the fact that she's got a pool now. I don't think she's really come out of the pool since we got it. So, I think we probably will see a lot more Claire swimming in the pool. Oh, she's stuck in it and she's drowning. Who knows? Who knows? She kind of looks like she might be a little bit stuck. I'm not gonna lie. What the hell, Salma? Salma just left and now she wants to come back around again. I don't understand girls. I, I'm as James's character. I don't understand what these girls are doing to him. But the romance has not advanced yet, but the pool has. So hopefully you guys like the pool. If you have any ideas of how I can sort out this really weird tile situation that we've got going on, put. <gasps> James is going through a nasty phase. Okay, we've got that to look forward to next episode. Yeah, please let me know if you know how to fix these cheeky tiles. And let me know what we should do about this romance thing because James is not a closer. He is not a closer. He's not managed to ask anybody to be his girlfriend yet. They all seem to just leave and get bored of him before he can get round to it. So let me know what you think of the pool. Let me know what you think we should do about James's romance. And I shall see you guys in the next episode of Sims 4. Bye.